Hi guys, I have another Kasparov's Greatest Games video for you. And once again, this one, Kasparov was playing white against Gatikamski, uh, also from Lenala's 1993. And once again, we have e4, c5, so this is proving to be very popular, the Sicilian. Kasparov once again plays knight f3, so he obviously likes his open Sicilians. e6, d4 takes, knight takes, and now knight f6. Okay, so knight c3, and now d6. And uh, now Kasparov decides to play against this line of bishop e3, a6, and now f3. So it's sort of gone into a, a shevenigan here, uh, from black with a6, and then these d6 and e6 moves. If black had played e5 instead, it would have been a knight off. Um, but yeah, shevenigan is a pretty interesting line to play. I personally quite like it uh, for black, uh, but I never play it because of all these Sicilian sidelines you get. So f3, knight bd7. Uh, g4, already getting his attack going, h6, and now just rook g1, he really wants, Kasparov really wants to play g5, could be 6, so this is quite a dangerous looking move, he's uh, putting pressure on b2, and also maybe discover attack on this e3 bishop, and maybe even on the rook on g1, so it, it does line up some very tactical shots here for, from black. So, um, especially Gatikamski being very such an aggressive player, so couldn't be six makes a lot of sense from his first style. So, so Kasparov plays a3, and the reason he plays a3 is it actually stops Black from taking on b2. If Black takes on b2, then we have a uh, knight at a4. And believe it or not, the queen is trapped. So yeah, that's not what Kasparov is going to want to do. So after a3, Kasparov decided to play knight e5 instead. Get a knight into a nice outpost on the in the middle of the board, and um, maybe even have some ideas of taking on f3 in the future. So after knight e5, um, Kasparov just played safe here with bishop to f2, queen c7. So pretty comes wants to play b5 here, and now. Uh, Kasparov just decided to go f4 because um, now he's got the queen and the rook protecting his pawn, so he doesn't need to play h3 first. He's go straight with f4, and now the knight must retreat or go forward into c4. So Kasparov decided to play knight c4. Uh, also, threatening to take on b2, which is a little bit annoying. So Kasparov just decided just to take this, take this active knight off the board. Queen takes c4, and now it's queen f3. So it's really nice, just. Uh, reinforcing move and you know, preparing long castles. Next move, and they can even start going h4, g5 in in the future. So e5 was played by Kamsky. He really wants to break up this nice pawn structure from white, and he's also preparing some tactics on g4. So Kaspar played knight f5. Pawn takes f4. Oh no, no sorry, not pawn takes. Bishop takes f5 was played, and now g takes f5, d5. So it's really starting to get uh, pretty sharp here after d5. Kasparov decides to take on e5. Knight takes e4. And now a really nice move from Kasparov. He just plays rook g4. And this just aims to win a pawn on e4. Uh, because of this pin on the queen. And it's a really, just really nice move. And after h5, he can just play rook to h4. And then bishop c5. So Kamsky's really uh, playing very aggressive here. And now really, another really nice move from Kasparov. He just castles. Great, great move. Because now after bishop takes f2, we can, Kasparov can now play knight takes e4. It's just fantastic. And now bishop can't take the rook because it's going to be knight d6 check winning the queen. And uh, now White's also going to recapture his bishop on on f2. Uh, so uh, yeah, this this position is really getting it's getting very very sharp. So after knight takes e4, Kamsky Kamp, decided to get rid of this knight. D takes e4, and now this queen takes f2, taking back his piece. Rook c8. King b1, rook to d8, and now the rooks come off on the d-file, king takes rook to h3, preparing to reroute his rook over to the 
to the queen side, queen d5, and now rook c3. So that took a pretty dangerous for uh, for black queen b6 is a big threat. So Kamsky plays king d7, queen b6, rook d8. So he's trying to provide a, an escape route for his king around this way. And now rook c5 protects his e5 pawn, queen d1 check, king a2, king e8. Kasparov takes the pawn on b7. And that's looking very dangerous for black. Now to queen g4. This is where I want you to pause the video and try to find the winning move for white. Okay, so the move Kasparov played, which just wins the game, is e6. And already white's just threatening checkmate on f7. So black has to do something about this. And he decided, Kamsky decided to take. Seems like the only way he can stop checkmate. Now to f takes e6, because Sparv doesn't decide to take back. If he takes back, there's going to be queen takes of check, and uh, he's he's not hasn't got a checkmate threat here anymore. But instead, he plays rook to e5, and now black is in a lot of trouble. Queen g5 was played. And now just h4. Another really nice move from Kasparov. Uh, and after queen takes h4. Rook takes e6 check, king f8, and now f6, and uh, Kamsky resigned here, since queen takes uh, queen takes g7 is a threat, and if pawn takes f6, just queen e7 check, and uh, the rook is lost. So the reason that h4 was a really nice move here as well was because if white decided to play check here, And then king f8, and now f6. This doesn't quite work because now there's queen d5 check, and the queens are swapped off. So this is why this position h4 is really important. And the queen can't go back to f6 because of this check. And when the queen and it can't, also can't go back to e7 either because takes and pinning the queen. See, so after just queen takes, rook takes, king f8, f6. There's nothing Kamsky can do here. Uh, other than resign, so it's another really, really nice game from Kasparov, and uh, yeah, another great win with White. So, he's got, so far, he's got three out of three against the Sicilian. Um, so yeah, I guess open Sicilians are the way to go. Kasparov is uh, leading by example. So please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.